Good evening, people. Watch them at 65, Lisa Boyce. I'm at a loss for words again about this Trump thing. I don't know what to say. But let me give you the news, the good news. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. That's why we're saved, how we're saved, and how we're kept saved. It is grace through faith in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever, you and I are whosoever, believe in him, <coughs> excuse me, will not perish but have eternal life. So, how do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ Jesus, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. There is no other way to be saved except through the blood of Christ. You are sealed and uh, you are rapture ready, <laughs> which is <laughs> definitely going to happen at any time. And you are sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. The Holy Spirit will change you. The Holy Spirit will minister to you. The Holy Spirit will feed you the word, everything. He was indicted today, Trump was. So, um, I don't know the specifics of it. Or anything like that. But from what I'm hearing. Um, he was definitely indicted. So. I guess next week. According to. I think the New York Post. And Fox News. Um, he has to go in. For questioning. So I don't I don't know. Like I said. I don't know what. The gist of it is. Or anything like that. But I do know. That this nation. Is definitely falling apart as we speak so um come on, come on so um go 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 lay down um i got this off of war news and this is all over and i will link the article in the description box from war news and I will also link another article and I'm not going to mention this article I'm going to link it in the description box is something from Hal Turner and it's regarding the banks I'm going to link that in the description box also I'm not going to go into Trump I'm not going to go into the Trump thing I'm not going to go into the banking thing I'm going to let you read this because both of them are bad. And I'm going to talk about this right here. China's president to generals. They're preparing for war right now. Russia just gave Beijing rapid nuclear weapons production technology. Not that they've already had it, but China is determined for a full-scale war. Now, this thing... with Taiwan is coming up. So China is determined for a full-scale war <clears throat> and is feverishly preparing the country, the country's President Xi, giving the order for military readiness. The Chinese military, the PLA, and people must be fully prepared for a large-scale war. This thing is, this thing is falling apart at the seams and is fast. It's not slow, it's fast. Preparing a large scale war, the Chinese president told the annual parliament session foreign affairs reported. The American magazine focuses on the content of four of Xi's speeches delivered during a series of meetings recently. 
In these speeches, President Xi declared that he was preparing China for war. He also sent he also said he urged the PLA generals not to be afraid to fight and make tough decisions. So in recent months, Beijing has unveiled new military preparedness laws and is building new air raid shelters in cities across the strait from Taiwan while opening new national defense mobilization offices across the country. This means that Beijing will mobilize, listen to the number, millions of soldiers. That, mind you, some of these people are already crossing the border into the U.S. Yeah. Yeah. In December 2022, Chi ordered the establishment of a new military commissions and conscription bureau, uh, bureaus across China so that Beijing could mobilize its reserve forces as soon as possible and implement a system to replenish combat units in the event of wars. They're planning this. Remember when they had said in some of the um, articles, oh, it's going to be a while. It's going to be like 2030. No. I said... In one of my videos, when I read that, I said, no, they're making you think it's later. It's going to be much, much, much sooner than we think. And they're doing it right now. They're doing it right now. Um, Russia has also delivered fast breeding nuclear reactor technology to China, a deal that could allow Beijing to significantly expand its nuclear arsenal and up in the prevailing global balance of nuclear weapons. So Putin and Xi announced a long-term agreement to continue the development of fast-growing nuclear reactors optimized for the production of plutonium for nuclear weapons. So in December, the Russian state nuclear company uh, Rosatom completed the transfer of 25 tons of highly enriched uranium to China to China's CFR 600 nuclear reactor which analysts say has the capacity to produce listen 50 nuclear warheads annually That's enough to wipe out the U.S. over and over and over again. U.S. Department of Defense officials and U.S. military planners have estimated that the CFR-600 will be critical in increasing China's nuclear arsenal from 400 warheads today. That's what they're capable of doing right now to 1,500 by old 2030. That's what they mean by 2030 or 2035. The U.S. Air Force Secretary says he has seen nothing more disturbing in the 50 years of his career than what China's doing right now. Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall compared China's nuclear threat to that of Russia during the Cold War. That's pretty bad. He's not just planning a war. It sounds like he's planning a complete annihilation. His government also announced a 7.2% increase in China's defense budget which has doubled in the past decade, as well as plans to make the country less dependent on foreign grain imports. And in recent months, Beijing has unveiled new military preparedness laws, new air raid shelters in cities across the Strait of Taiwan, and so forth. Now, It says such measures 
analyst Lyle Goldstein and Nathan uh, Weacher noted suggest that Xi may have learned lessons about military mobilization from China or from Russia. President Vladimir Putin's military mobilization in Ukraine. I'm telling you, we are on the brink of getting out of here because this thing, especially what they did with Trump, just shows how corrupt everything is right now. I'm sorry, but it does. And like I said this morning, game is it's, it's no longer, this nation is cursed. It's no longer a, well, you know, we'll turn this thing around. We'll do this and we'll do that. We'll have a revival of the fittest. Well, you know, no. That is no. Mm -mm. No. The next thing on God's prophetic calendar is the rapture of the church and the great tribulation of those left behind. No. That's what's coming. I'm going to link all of this in the description box, including the article about uh, Trump and about what's going on with the banks. And you're going to want to read it. Thank you.